Uncle Leif, any news of father? He's... Dead. <laughs> Shut down, leading his men, Betty Lee. Lost in the stream. No chance to find his body. Coming. Rose, take the others down to the swamp. Come, Betty Lee. Run to the swamp. Hurry! Free, Mose, you and all the others. Free to go anywhere you please now. Does we have to go, Master Leif? Seems like there's no other place that we knows of. You can stay here if you wish, though there's not much left now. But we will join a wagon train in Vicksburg going into the West. I hope to a happier and a freer land. You'll find us here, Master Leif, if ever you all come back. What's old Mammy going to do without her honey child? Didn't she raise you from a baby? Oh, cry, Mammy. Maybe we can send for you later.
We've got to leave this country. Yeah, the chief is dead and our band is breaking up. The Yankee troops are coming in, too. Won't be so easy for us now. Where are you aiming to go? There's only one place to go, and that's west. They say it's a great country out there for men who can do things. When do we start? No time like right now. Reckon we can cross here. Here, sir. Master John, Master John, they say you're dead, sir. Where's Betty Lee and my brother? Gone, sir. Left about a week ago. Went out west, they said. Out west? Take us to the house, Mose. Why, uh, uh, there ain't no house, Master. It's been burned, sir. The Yankee. No, sir. No, sir. Them bad, bad men. Them gorillas, sir. I regret that I cannot offer you the customary hospitality. Quite all right, General. Uh, I understand. I, I'm sorry, but I've forgotten your name again. Thorne. Lieutenant Thorne. I believe you said you were not in one of my regiments. Why, Master John? I was with the cavalry, sir. But I did not have the honor of serving under you. I see. With your permission, I'll be going, General. I have a long journey before me. You're leaving our country? Yes, sir. I, too, must journey into the West. It's a forlorn hope, of course. But if you should meet my brother and my daughter, tell them that I'm still alive. He's Colonel Leif Harvey of our army and my daughter, Betty Lee. I'll do that, sir. Words are poor things to express one's gratitude for what you have done. It was a privilege, sir, and I wish you a speedy recovery. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, General. Goodbye. You are a true gentleman. That young man saved my life, Mose. If it weren't for him, I'd have drowned. He is indeed one of those of whom the South will always be proud. How come him wearing that Yankee uniform, then? A Yankee uniform? Yes, Martha. A Yankee brought me home. Lieutenant Thorne, you've been brought to my attention by your commanding officer, who most highly endorses your courage, military conduct, and efficient handling of all duties assigned you. Reports have come of a plot to establish an independent country on our western borders. To be in swift communication with this section, we are constructing a telegraph line there. The same conspiracy 